Once upon a time, in a village, lived a lazy man who did not like to work and would always look for an easier way to feed himself. One day, while searching for food, he saw a fruit farm. He decided to steal some fruit from the farm. He walked into the farm and started to climb the tree. Just at that time, the farmer came and saw him climbing the tree. The farmer shouted at him and asked him to come down. The lazy man got scared and did not come down. Seeing this, the farmer went inside and came back with a big stick to hit him. When the lazy man saw this, he quickly came down before the farmer could reach him and ran towards the nearby forest and hid there. After some time, he got up and while passing through the forest, he saw a crippled fox that had only two legs and was crawling. The lazy man thought, how can this fox stay alive in a, such a condition? The fox can't run, then how can it feed itself or stay safe from the threat of other animals? Just then, he saw a lion coming towards the fox with a piece of meat in his mouth. Seeing the lion, all other animals ran away, but the fox stayed there. Only the lazy man climbed up a tree to save himself. But what happened next surprised the lazy man. The lion left a piece of meat which was in his mouth for the fox, and the fox ate that piece of meat. The lazy man was shocked to see that, but he was happy to see God's play. He thought, God, who is the creator of all, always has a plan to take care of all living beings. Thinking this, he thought that if God had such a plan for the fox, then God must be having some plan for him too. So he moved forward and found a tree alongside the road. He sat below the tree and started waiting for someone to feed him too. He kept looking at the road, waiting for his food. He waited for two days, but still no one came with food. At last, when he could not bear it anymore, he left in search of some food. On his way, he met an old monk and told him everything he saw. The monk gave him some food and water. After eating, the lazy man asked the monk, O oh, wise one, you won't believe what I saw. I saw a fox and a lion was feeding him. Is it not a divine message of God for me? God has shown his mercy upon a fox, but no one came for me. Why was God so cruel to me? The monk smiled and said, It is true that the Creator has a plan for everyone. You are also a part of God's plan. But my friend, you took his sign in a wrong way. He did not want you to be like the fox, but he wanted you to be like the lion. If we see closely in our lives, we will find that life is filled with lessons and every moment has a deeper meaning. The lazy man saw the fox getting help and thought he could just sit and wait for good things to happen to him too. But waiting without action can lead to missed opportunities. While God takes care of all, he also gives each of us the abilities and chances to take care of ourselves. Just like the lion who took the initiative, we too have the strength and capability to change our situation. It is important not to misread signs and wait passively, but to be proactive, make efforts and be the change we wish to see. God does not want us to sit and wait. He wants us to act, to be brave and to face challenges head on. So, as we journey through our life, let us not wait for things to change. Let us be the change, lighting our path with determination and hope. Therefore, always strive to be the line that takes charge rather than waiting for things to come your way.